What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Chig coming at you with another Diablo 3 build guide. This is going to be the follow up for the T16 Whirlwind version. This is going to be the Greater Rift version of this build. I'm going to kind of go over two different versions of it just because. Eh, I don't know, maybe I'll make another video, we'll see. Um, anyway, before we get started, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, anything you do to help out the channel for free. And don't forget, we are doing a giveaway. As soon as we hit a thousand subscribers, I'm either going to give away a copy of Diablo 4, if whoever wins does not currently have it, or another video game of your choice, depending on you know what you want, if you already have D4 at that point. Um, how to enter... Got to be a subscriber of the channel, have to like one of the videos that is involved, and you have to comment on one of the videos that is involved. And then we'll do an RNG thing, and we will pick a winner that way. Anyways, let's hop right into it. So we are doing the waste set for this, and we use all six pieces on this build because of how we need to set up our rings and stuff. So we're running all six pieces. The two set increases the damage per second by of rend by 500% and increases its duration by 15 seconds during whirlwind and for three seconds after you gain 50% damage reduction and your applied rends deal triple damage. And then the six set whirlwind gains the effect of the dust devil's rune and all whirlwind and rend damage is increased by 10,000%. All right, so we are using Squirt's necklace because once you don't take damage for a while, you do increase damage and take increased damage. We are using Mortix Brace to get all of the Wrath of the Berserker runes. This doesn't really matter that much for the first version I'm going to go over because you don't have the cooldown all of the time. We are using the Bastions set. We are using Focus and Restraint because we want to get that extra damage. We're just trying to get as much damage as we can because we're trying to zoom through here. We have Lamentation Belt. Ren can now stack up to two times on an enemy and the damage is increased. Then we have the Bulkathos weapons. So the difference between the builds depends on the weapons, and I'll go over that in a moment. Um, in the cube, we have the Band of Might. Uh, after casting Furious Charge, Ground Stomp, or Leap, take 80% reduced damage for 8 seconds. This is just to keep you alive because we don't have the Gold Wrap. Mantle of Channeling increases damage and decreases damage taken. Just some more toughness and some more damage. Ambo's Pride, attacking with Whirlwind, also applies Rend, and the total damage of Rend is dealt over one second. So that's what holds the whole build together, makes it strong. Okay, so let's go over the skills, and then I will go over the difference between this build and the other Greater Rift speed build that will get you more cooldown. So, first ability is Rend. This is doing all of your damage. Enemies killed while bleeding um, blow up to all enemies within 10 yards. And, yeah... It's just a lot of damage. Um, Whirlwind Hurricane. This is what changes when you switch weapons, and I'll go over that here in just a moment. Um, we're using Hurricane to pull them in because we have all of the fury in the world because we're using the BK weapons for the movement speed and the fury generation. We're using Sprint Marathon for the movement speed. We're using Ignore Pain Bravado, again, for the movement speed. We don't need the toughness for the speed builds. Furious Charge Merciless Assault just to get the cooldown. Um, we're basically just using this to keep up the Band of Might and to keep up the Bastion set. So we got more damage and more cooldown, or more damage and more damage reduction. Wrath of the Berserker, doesn't matter which one you use because we've got more to express. Boon of Bulkathos to reduce the cooldown of Wrath of the Berserker. Nerves of Steel, just in case we get one tapped. Rampage for extra strength, get your DPS going after you start killing stuff. And then pound of flash just for movement speed for the most part and so the difference with the weapons is going to be you put in Ingoem and Ambo's Pride you wear them you switch your Ambo's Pride in the cube over to a furnace to deal more damage to elites and then you switch your whirlwind rune over to wind shear to give you um, more fury Right, so the difference being you can do a few higher greater rift levels with the other version because it has more damage and your cooldowns are up more so you're going to have your Wrath of the Berserker up more, you're going to be doing more damage with that. You've got the Furnace, you're going to be doing more damage with that. But for like the chill speed, like we're trying to gym up and we're trying to get items, I prefer this version because it's a little easier to play and it's... Um, 
you know, doesn't really require as much thought. So, you know, you can do like 10 to 15 greater rifts higher with the other weapons, with the other setup, but I prefer this one just for the fun of it. Um, so let's go ahead and knock out a rift and I can show you how ridiculous it is. All right, so press one, two, three to get your buffs up and just use Wrath of the Berserker on cooldown. Um, make sure you charge often enough to keep up your ring buff um, and your Band of Might buff. So I guess they're both ring buffs. Um, charge when you need to. Use Bravado when it's up. You want to use Ignore Pain to get your um, movement speed from it. And then you want to use Sprint when the uh, buff falls off. So, yeah, you just stay at full HP for literal ever, and it is amazing. Um, so this is just what we're doing. We're zooming as fast as we can. We're just trying to kill things. Um, the sweet spot I have found with Whirlwind is you want to do the greater rifts of the level where the mobs kind of like, if you go through them once they die, right? Like you don't want to have to like spin around in them a bunch. You don't want to have to do this. You don't want to have to do the other. You just kind of want to have to roll through them once and they die. I mean, you might have to go back and forth through some, uh, Elites every now and then, but like the sweet spot is just go through them and they die, right? Like you don't want to have to spend a lot of time killing them. Um, so let's see, how fast did we do this rift? So charge, get your buffs up, dunk on Raziel. Okay, minute and 35 seconds. That's hard to beat, right? So use this for your speed farming, use this for um, basically anything to get like keys or to get legos per hour like you want to do this to get as much as you can like this is a good volume set it's not good for the xp or the higher stuff but it's a good volume set so that's it guys um thanks for sticking around if you stuck around hit that like button hit that subscribe button don't forget about the giveaway and uh get those legendaries